One of the really great things about QGIS is the ability to get data into it from loads of different sources very quickly. One great example of this is Sentinel-2 satellite data of the Earth. It provides cloudless satellite coverage and it's from the European Union space program. We can see the Sentinel page now and an organization called EOX based in Vienna in Austria have made available the data from this as a web map service. You can find these links in the description of the video, but I'm going to copy the WMS link, which is a web map server link. That's what we need to paste into QGIS. So I'll switch to QGIS now. I'll go down to the browser panel and WMS section. If for any reason your browser panel is not there, go to view panels and browser to turn it back on. From the WMS section, right click, hit new connection, and we'll call this one Sentinel-2. It doesn't matter if you call it something else, but you should call it what the data contains, otherwise you might forget what's in it. Then we'll paste in that URL, and that's all we need to do. We'll click OK. We have a new web map service in our browser panel now, so we'll expand Sentinel-2. And once you've done this, you can explore it yourself, but let's just add a cloudless layer for 2020. And there's ones in different projections. I'll use the one with 3857 coordinate reference system. I'll double click, and then we get a cloudless layer for 2020, and we can start exploring the Earth. So let's go to Iceland, and let's go into Reykjavik. So it's quite a nice resolution, cloudless global satellite imagery. We zoom out, let's zoom in again to the South Island of New Zealand. And that's how you get Sentinel-2 cloudless satellite data into QGIS via the web map server or the web map service setting.